I have the pleasure to read out the statement of Northeast Dialogue Forum. Madam Chair, Mr. Chair, we welcome the decision taken by the state parties to the International Convention for the Protection of All Persons from Enforced Disappearance to continue the much needed work of the Committee on Enforced Disappearances. Ladies and gentlemen, despite being young, the Committee has already left its important footprint. Moreover, it has been dealing with an extremely complex and multifaceted crime. Not only do enforced disappearances hinder human dignity and the very human rights to life and liberty, but they also become torture and constant suffering for relatives and loved ones. Quoting the wise words of Professor Theo van Boven, it fits in this pattern that the trilogy of basic justice, consisting of the right to know the truth, the right to justice, and the right to reparation, finds clear expression in one of the newest core international human rights treaties, the 2006 International Convention for the Protection of All Persons from Enforced Disappearance, end quote. Sadly, Enforced disappearances are still frequently used as a strategy to spread terror and create insecurity and fear within the society, and they have become a tool in the hands of military dictatorships and terrorist groups. In light of this unchanged reality, the work of the Committee on Enforced Disappearances is, mo is more vital than ever. Ladies and gentlemen, we call on all states to take all the necessary steps to ratify and implement the Convention and to recognize the competence of the Committee on Individual Communications. We call on the Committee on Enforced Disappearances to strengthen the country visit mechanism and to appoint a team in necessary countries to conduct fact-finding and follow-up to urgent cases, to further develop its ability to deal with requests for urgent actions, to submit concrete recommendations to states to rehabilitate and compensate the victims' families and provide adequate support. I thank you.